Hello P1s, boys and girls, you are most welcome. Let me hope you are still fine and happy wherever you are. So it is again time for us to discuss together. So I request you to, to settle and we work together. Because some people are still playing the YC, they are still doing other things. Can you leave whatever you are doing so that you can come and we discuss together. Last time I was with you, we discussed about things in our homes, the things we have in our homes. And we mentioned different things. We spelled the words. So uh, when I was leaving, I left you with an activity. Which activity we are supposed to do some corrections. So I just want you to open the books where you did the work and we, we, we mark. As we cross check with me, if it is wrong, we are going to put a star so that when we finish at the end of it all, you will make some corrections. Just be honest and if it is wrong, it is wrong. If it is correct, put a small tick using your pencil. So the, the activity I left is here. We are going to make corrections together. I requested you to change the following to plural form. Change the, the following to plural form. One, many. We say the plural means many. So we have this word. Let's read it together. Dish. So this one is singular. It is one. So when you bring it here, what are you supposed to add to, make, to get a plural for dish? You write a dish, you put ES. So it will be dishes. Let's spell dishes. D-I-S-H-E-S. -S. Then you come to plate. Plate is one. But when you bring it here in plural, you write the word plate, then you just put the S. The plural plate is plates. Then we have knife. Knife, this one changes the last two. The last two have to go away. Then you, you change this one, you put V-E-S. So knife is one. When there are many, we call them knives. Whereby you write K-N-I-V-E-S, knives. So you can cross check the plural form and then we go to another number. Number two, let's read together. Write in capital letters. We said capital letters are sky letters, are big letters. I told you capital and small. So these ones are written in small. Let's read the first word, clock. This clock, these ones are small letters, so we are supposed to change it to capital. You write capital C, capital L, capital O, capital C, capital K. You write it there. Then we come to saucepan. These ones are small. So if you're changing, you write capital S, capital A, capital U, capital C, capital E, capital P, capital L, and capital N. There you have changed it to capital letters. Jack is in small. Then when you're writing in capital, you write capital J, capital U, and capital G. So this is the activity I left. Now, can you close the books and get settled for a new lesson? We have a new lesson. I can see some people are not yet ready. Close the books, put them aside, and you turn to the new lesson. We are going to discuss together. Though you are not here closer to me, but wherever you are, we are going to discuss. When we discuss together, things can be easy. So our lesson today is a new one. Still, I remain Miss Betty. Can you teach of English? This is the 17th lesson. Those ones who are attending to me, the, the Manuelas, Lola, and your friends who are there, please, we are going to have a new lesson. And this lesson is about the use of articles. The use of articles. And today, this time round, we are going to start with article A. Uh. Article A. Uh. We call it A uh, in case you're naming things. When you're using that article A, uh, that's the sound we say A. Uh. So this article A uh, is used with consonant. It is used with the consonants. So we are going to move together and we check on that lesson when we are using article A. Uh. 
Yes. If you're naming things, and those things start with consonant sounds. I told you that consonant sounds and the vowel sounds. So today we are going to have a lesson about that. Use of a uh, and an. But we are going to concentrate on article a. Uh. Do you see how we write it? Yes, that is a. Uh. And article a uh is used with consonant sounds. I told you that consonant sounds, I didn't put them here. For example, when we look at this one, a book, article a uh is here, but this sound b is a consonant. So you have to say a book, why? The starting sound is a consonant. So we say a book. If you have one, you say, I have a book. Yes? Then we have this one. You've ever seen this domestic animal here, cat. You say a cat with a, uh, a cat. Why do we say a cat? This k is a consonant, whereby a consonant goes with a. Uh. So you say, I've seen a cat. There is a cat. So a uh, goes with this one. That is the consonant sound. Then we have this one also, a fish. A fish? Yes. That sound if that letter F is a consonant, this one. That's why we say a fish. And we have various examples. These are not the only examples. Like if you have a phone, you can say, I have a phone. That sound, the first one is a consonant. You say, a, a what? Then we have others like this. This is a book, yes? Because it is one. We have another one here. I have my bag here, so we say a bag. Because it is one, you say a bag, boo. The sound the boo goes with a. Uh. We have a chair. We have very many things. A desk. Yes. Others are here like... Others are here like this one. Duster. D. That sound D is a consonant. So you say a duster. We have this one here. Books. Yes, it is a, uh, the first one is a consonant, so you say a box. We have also this one. Who can name for me this one? Yes, another person is saying, I know. What is this? A marker. Marker is also, M is a consonant. Then what is this? Yes, someone has said a pen, yes. That P is also a consonant, so we say a pen. Then we have this one here. Who knows this item, this object? Yes, this is a classroom object. You normally see it and use it. What is this? Pencil. So if it is one, we say pencil. Yes, many people are contributing. That's good. I like children who are active. Yes, but the others who are still doing other things. Now, so when we are using the R, it is very, very simple. Now, even the R, we can use the structure. We can construct the sentences like what is this like what is this you say this is a box or you can say that is a box or you can say it is a box remember when you're talking about one and you're using article uh, that is a box yes that is a phone eh? what can you see what can you see who can answer that one what can you see Mm -hmm. I have something here. What can you see? Then another person has answered already. I can see a duster. But I have my picture here. What can you see in that picture? The picture is here. I want someone to think about it. What is that? Yes? So when you're answering the structure, what can you see? You start with capital I. I can see a book. Have you seen our article A, uh, where it is? Yes. I can see a book, proper English. And you punctuate it here using a full stop. Remember, in English, we look at the first letter being capital. We look at the article. In case you are talking about one item, we look at the full stop at the end of it all. That's how we, English moves. Capital letter, articles, and the punctuation. If you punctuate well, 
you get a full mark. You don't puncture it. With English, we don't give halves. We don't give anything. We just circle where it is supposed to be and we put for it a punctuation mark. Now here it is a, a full stop. Now when they were asking, what can you see? There's a question mark. Without it, it ceases to be a question. So if you want it to be a question, you have to put a question mark. Whereby a, a sentence must be having a full stop. Yes. So when I ask you, what can you see? Being, if I've given any object, please look at the object. Look at the object. When you look at the object, you begin answering. I can see. Ah, if it is one, I can see. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Again, another picture has come. Can you observe my picture here? What can you see in that picture? There are different things, in fact, you can see in that picture. What can you see here? What is this? Yes, you can now begin answering. I can see a, a comes because it is one. I can see a house. Yes, I can see a house. If you've seen a tree, you say, I can see a tree. Yes, if you've seen a flower like here, you can say, I, ha I can see a flower. So we are using a for the words which have consonant sounds. Yes, we are using a for the words which have consonant sounds. So I normally give you an exercise and people fail it. So when I say fill in correctly and I give you and, and, you should know where to put a. Because a is for consonants, for the words which start with consonant sounds. But we have exceptionals. They have consonants like uniform. Uniform, that you is a vowel. But I'm going to put it where we use with consonant, with a. Uh, I say a uniform, a uniform. Yes, with uniform, we have to bring even uniport. You bring it in the a, uh, a uniport. Though it is a vowel sound, but we say a uniport. Even Ugand, someone who is a Ugandan, you say, I am a Ugandan. I am a Ugandan. When you're constructing a sentence, you're telling me, someone will ask you, who are you? What are you? Hey, where do you belong? You say, I am a Ugandan. You is a vowel, but we bring it here. It's an ex exceptional. It's not a consonant, but it's an exceptional. Yes? Now, basing on that, my good friends, I wish you well. Stay safe. And be good children, help your parents at home. Yes? Remain good. Bye-bye.